we've now talked about a whole variety of different approaches to doing dimensionality reduction. And I wanted to say a few more things here. So first off, we've talked about both global methods and local methods. Principal component analysis is definitely a, a global method in the sense that it tries to build one monolithic model that works for the entire feature space. And in some sense, kernel PCA also does this. On the local model side, this is all about building models based on some number of samples. Often it's just a small neighborhood of samples. So these include locally linear embedding, multidimensional scaling, isomap, and uh, T stochastic neighbor embedding. In, in some sense with kernel PCA, once we turn around and start using the kernel trick, especially with the uh, Gaussian kernel, this turns out to uh, also be more of a local type of a method. And in particular, there are some nice relationships between kernel PCA and TSNE. Principal component analysis, this is always the go-to algorithm. This is the first thing that you're gonna try when you're trying to understand your data set, whether you're working with your feature space or some uh, results that, that are coming out of other algorithms. Uh, but often you're going to find that you're gonna to need to start to bring in some of these heavier duty types of algorithms because the manifolds you're dealing with are not linear manifolds. Locally linear embedding, this is an approach that's really good at capturing the local manifold, but it really does ignore the larger structure. Multi-dimensional scaling, what's interesting about this is that it allows us to use any distance metric that we want. And this is really important when we want to use something other than Euclidean distance, or even in situations where we don't even have a feature space to work with and just have a way to measure distances. Isomap actually used multidimensional scaling. Uh, this is all about uh, detecting very curved manifolds. And, and in particular, it's good at dealing with manifolds that loop back onto themselves or at least come very skim very close to, to, to themselves. And it was isomap that was making use of this geodesic distance metric. And then finally, we spent some time looking at uh, stochastic neighbor embedding. And, and really, this is about trying to find pockets or clusters of samples that are in our original data set, and then trying to reflect those same distributions into a smaller space, a 2D space or, or a 3D space, so that we can do things like uh, visualize what's going on. So dimensionality reduction itself has a variety of important uses. It certainly helps us uh, to get our heads around what our data actually look like. So visualization is really important, not only for us as the practitioners, but also when we're trying to communicate to the domain experts that know the data, but not really the methods that we're working with. These techniques are also, for the most part, useful for pre-processing a, a feature set before we actually bring to bear our learning algorithm. So if we're then trying to do regression or we're trying to do classification. And so for example, if we can use one of these algorithms to unwarp a curved manifold into a more Euclidean type geometry, then at that point we can start to use uh, the linear models that we have at our disposal. Uh, and I would definitely be trying that before I used heavier duty nonlinear kinds of models. The other thing that we get out of reducing our dimensionality is that we're making our feature space smaller, which means that our, the implementation of our models tends to be smaller and we have fewer parameters that we have to learn. So this means that we're reducing the probability of actually overfitting our training set. And this is really important, especially as we start to get into really big problems. So this ends our dimensionality reduction discussion. And now it's time to move on to some other unsupervised learning techniques. And in particular, we'll start talking about some clustering approaches. <laughs>